here we are. Kaiser Redux. Who could have guessed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing Kaiser Redux. You know the drill. We got the country. We got the stuff. We got the drippy hat, the drippy mustache, and more importantly, we got Barack Obama's grandfather. Yeah, that's right. But so, I'm playing Kaiser Redux. You guys want me to play Kaiser Redux, and I want to play Kaiser Redux. So I decided, what fun, interesting, somewhat recognizable country would you like me to play as? The Almighty Don Host. That's right. They are the strongest nation in the entire world, as you could have probably guessed. I mean, got the word almighty in the title, so kind of a no-brainer. Now that we're back in masochism simulator, that, well, uh, might as well do something interesting, wacky, and original, and... How good have you guessed? Of course that includes a wacky ideology controlling Russia. Well, how... How original. So obviously to start things off in our wonderful country that we have nine, nine units. Uh, our field marshal is also the leader of the country and the only focus I can do is the Baltic Sea Fleet. <laughs> I don't know a fleet to name, but 15 ships and all of them pre-dreadnought and 30 years old isn't exactly gonna get us anywhere. I swear to god these ships are still made of wood. Oh my god. At least we got at least we got admirals. Please help me god. Ah, uh, the start of every Hoi 4 game is just these three researches and a wonderful army that is definitely gonna change sometime soon. Now I guess we uh, only thing we have to do now is go forward in the world and hope we see some wacky individuals pop up because oh boy that's gonna be fun. Is that is that a new record? I've I feel like that's quicker than usual. It's only the sixth. Oh well. How's our army looking? 400 guns and Okay, okay. Wonderful. I'm glad to read this event. Basically, we're uh, the only thing making us short of a failed, illegitimate state is Germany. So, so thank you for that. Only military access to it. <sighs> How lovely. Well, I'm sure that there's no foresee unforeseeable economic crisis, which will change the entire makeup of uh, the Western world. So, I'm sure we're fine. Oh, well, those two, we, uh, I'm sure we never see. Sorry, I'm food in my mouth. So, right, where were we? Of course, making our fleet awesome. <laughs> no, we're currently trying to await, um, Black Monday, it'll be, it'll be here any minute. Just wait patiently, guys. Okay, whew, it's not that bad. It's not like we have, uh, any consumer goods, you know, penalties to worry about. Uh, not that we really, uh, really have any. Ah, crap, looks like Severe economic crises aren't the best time for investment. Oh, what? Whatever. You guys are silly. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, who the hell are these people? Oh, I'm led by, they're led by a freaking emblem. Okay, well, this isn't the, I mean, this isn't the best situation that, that could have been possible, but, well, it's a terrible situation. My country just split in half. I really hope I don't get my ass whooped by a backwards country. Well, that was much easier than I expected, and bit of a joke of an uprising, no? Uh, I don't even want to look at the casualty rates here, but the- Oh, they're the same. Okay, I thought I was doing better. Long story short, they're dead. I got 1,000 guns. I know those were probably my guns that they stole, but- Oh, what a- Oh, huh. Oh, oh, how awful. And, well, he's dead, and now we're led by a guy named Afrikan. Uh, I feel like you're a- you're a bit far away from Africa. Well, bada bing bada boom, one thing leads to another, and oh, now we're in the Reich's back. I mean, could be worse, we could be a direct puppet. Oh, I gotta join the stinky, Oh, God, why do I have to be led by freaking ugly larper? All right, so, well, uh, now we're going to try to stabilize ourselves in a much more dark, ominous country that we exist in, which, in a name I can't pronounce. Looks like Dutch. And Dutch is a funny language because, you know, Dutch, Dutch is a joke, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I'm good. I really, I'll, I'll pass. It all. Let me just integrate that back again. Now we're much better. You know what? I'll join the Kaiser Wilhelm Society. That'll be a, that'll be a much better alternative. Man, if some, the Kaiser Wilhelm Society was cooler than 
research pact. Like, y'all had m matching bracelets. Went to a secret castle. Drunk. I'm just saying, look at this guy. His name's Von Panowitz. He'd be totally fun at a party. Again, I like to state him. Now, a kind of a cringe guy who's like, Oh, German, oh my god, this would basically mean we're a utopia now, because we're not really kind No. I'm just doing it because it's an interesting path? Question mark? Maybe an interesting Russia? Question mark? Maybe slightly wholesome? I mean, we do kind of have an all-Russian diet. Not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it kind of will be a puppet state of the German Empire, so it is pretty bad. Oh, wait. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I see that. Why is Russia that color? I swear. How come he keeps getting a new uniform every single time I see him? Okay, he does. He kind of looks. He kind of looks spiffy. I'm going to be honest. He does look spiffy, but I still don't like him. So, uh, I'm sure we can do better than this guy, all right? Uh, I'm telling you, next video we'll play as a uh, Emmy. <laughs> What is even the lore for these countries? Please don't tell me that. Hammy has a focus tree. It does. It's small, but it does. Ugh. Well, uh, in terms of cringe to base ratio of how the world is doing so far, a uh, big penalty. Now, uh, we have Savinkov, but, uh, so, but we still have Hoover in power, so, you know, that bumps it back up. Ah, yep. Canada went with the market liberals. Yep, that's a, that's a big bonus. Uh, uh, Yep, murder by socialist. No, mm-hmm. Yep, that's the truth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, buddy. Kuban. Uh, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I think that saying no probably wasn't the best idea. It pro oh, and well, whoa, how convenient timing. Our lovely little civil war has started. Awesome. And well, uh, who could care about that? Look. I'm invading Ku- Yeah, I don't care. We're invading Kuban. We're gonna take- I'm not even gonna pronounce that. But, Kuban. It'll be ours, don't worry. Well, to tell you the truth, why they decided to do an offensive war against Stalin at the last minute, I don't know what your bright idea was, but, uh, oh, okay. Well, that was easy, like, five encirclements later. One here, one here, and one here. Uh, 3,000 guns later, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, ha ha, and sorry, Stalin, but, uh, Oh, hey, you're, you're orange, and, oh, well, okay, I'll take it. Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to say no for this one, sorry. I'm just saying, I think that, uh, Kolchak would be rolling in his freaking grave right now if he took a look at the Iranian Azerbaijani who led the <laughs> country to, God. Mm. <laughs> what, what? no, I already, I already owned this at the beginning of the war, what? No. What? No. Okay, are you s- uh, Well, we encircled huh, how many people, I I have no idea. And just like magic, you walk up behind their defenses and they never saw it coming. They really didn't. Uh, oh my god. It's, you know, it's always fun. You always see one, Cuba. I don't know if Cuba did yet, but Cuba, Liberia, and Finland. They always join the Reichsbank. Come on. Ah, easy as- Sausage, something, pretzel. So you know how in World War II there was like oil supply problems, so we just, I, I just decided, you know, I might as well just uh, cut that off right now before it gets out of hand, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I got a feeling this is gonna be pretty easy. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to note that the entire military capabilities of our illegitimate caucus state is basically equivalent to Russia. Of course, standing armies don't really count, but is this some kind of joke? What's going on here? <laughs> Anyways, I decided since they're still at, at war with the Alash Republic, I feel like the best opportunity would be to not wait because, well, I'm impatient. You know, looking at social media every every day kind of leads to a uh, low attention span. So I gotta make stuff interesting for me real quick. And well, that includes beating up Russia by myself. I'm gonna do it. I think that um my glorious three-fourth supplied army can beat up this one garrison unit. <sighs> Sure, it's fine, gentlemen. It is now time. Uh, we decide to raise Russia ourselves. If Germany will not support us, well, uh, Mr. Uh, von Panowitz here has decided that he's gonna do it himself. That's right, fancy pants. Myself. And uh, let's get that bonus because I feel like our uh, our thunder is quickly going to run out. Oh God, I'm, this was a bad idea. <laughs> and oh, also to prove that I was, you know, I'm not cheating. I, I promise I, I won't use any console commands whatsoever, I swear.
Well, uh, thanks, Jeremy, for the 300 guns. I'm going to become a puppet of you for winning this war, and that's what you give me? No, you don't, buddies. That's seven divisions, I see. Wow. How? Oh, you pricks. No, oh, okay, now what? Moscow is now mine. Oh, how was I able to do it? Well, actually, I was going to say, oh, I don't know how I was able to do this, but I just kicked them in the, sh the AI in the shins because, one, they're stupid, and two, I'm pretty sure I have more military factories than them at this point. But, well, uh, it seems like we're doing all right here. I... That was a lot of fun, but, you know, we're, we're not done yet. Still have a large military presence down here, and I didn't even know there was a fetish for military encirclements, but I think I may have found it during this war.
for it, ladies and gentlemen. And there we go. The great city, Russian city built by Peter the Great was captured today. Russian defenders initially held back the Don Caucasian army across the Neva River, but a few days ago those positions fell. Haha. -ha. The Great Museum of Artillery. Well, yeah, I think I think artillery won the day there. So, uh, how close are they to? <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're going past the Urals, so we can actually end this war. Will they put up much of a fight? Yeah, I I didn't think so. I uh, I'm sorry, not sorry for the for the border gore. <laughs> I gotta get those victory points somehow, guys. I feel like I'm fighting a war in the freaking Balkans here. It's a mess. But uh, well. They're almost out of the game now, 98%, and 27,000 to almost a million? Well, I consider that pretty good odds. You know how big their military was? It's now in shambles. You're welcome, Germany. All by myself, too. Any day now. Also, uh, Czechoslovakia is free. That's just a cool, cool, cool thing to note. Who's winning the Civil War? Oh, yeah, well, that, uh, that, that, that's the figure. The evil thing is like, ugh. Social Security, oh! Well, there we go. Is that, is that really all you had left, guys? Are you serious? I feel so sorry for you. Oh, oh man, my um. Unfortunately, I can't record a desktop audio, but I'm sure you could search this up. But well, the Cossack people uh, have united all Russia. Well, that like like yeah, like a desktop audio turn on. Uh, I don't know how to fix that. If you do, please tell me. <laughs> Anyways, after wonderful applause, which I maybe will add in the background, please remember to do that. And Sieg. Oh! And no console commands, too. It was all me. It's all me, guys. Painfully me. Except I, I, I wanted that state in the peace deal, and I accidentally gave it to him by accident because I was trying to give stuff, but. I realize I have to play a little piece of comments on. Anyways, boom! Done. And uh, now we got that wonderful mess of a name, and finally I can relax. Ah, splendid. You know what isn't splendid is the fact my people don't want to serve in the army and give up all their utensils to melt into bullets. Now that's quite awful. All right, all of you guys practically kind of hate me, but don't don't revolt, please. I just conquered everything. All right, as much as I want to go down, form the right commissariat and do the focus bath where I go to war of Germany, and I I think I'd rather do this interesting path because well, it seems like a happier ending, and uh, I'd rather not do the set of focuses that have one called work will set them. Jesus. All right, fine, fine. We didn't join it originally, but you know what? Sure, I might as well now. <laughs> How wonderful. Hey, look, there we are. Factory output. <laughs> you know how they uh, they changed it from St. Petersburg to Petrograd because they thought it'd be too German? Well, <laughs> talk about German now. I know I've been playing too much TNO when I start giggling at the word free trade. Oh, congratulations, Ottomans. You just got Constantinople taken by... Greece and is that generic portrait guy, but in Kaiserreich style? <laughs> How are you this bad? How are you this bad, Abdul? Oh, finally, another half an hour later, a couple focuses and bada bing bada boom, claiming to succeed his cousin, Nicholas II, you know, because they were all cousins and stuff. Whoa. Look how drippy he looks now. He's got the whole, got the whole ad. He looks like Nick, uh, looks like uh, Nikolai II during the um world war one but whew, that's pretty cool look at it we got we got two wilhelms now actually vilgam the first scotland and england wonderful you see that self-rule to russian people you can bring in a new age uh-huh i know fancy fancy totally not exploiting natural resources and yup <laughs> nope not me huh well, okay, phew, we went from paternal autocrat to authoritarian democrat. See, we got the word democrat in the name. That, 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 that's better, right? Okay, I'm bored, let's go. Ah, I'm doing random focus. We're gonna Oslo, guys, for Christmas while, uh, while we're actually fixing our... <laughs> bored. Declare war on Scandinavian country. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, mm, okay, uh, about that. Yeah, um, I think, I think I'll pass on this one. I know, I'll uh, just, you know what, you, you can figure that out, other Wilhelm. Uh, this Wilhelm here is busy trying to find a vacation home in Norway. Shut up. So, I got the event where, um, 
Austria-Hungary declares war on France, but uh, I, I really think that's the, the least of your concerns right now. And there we go. <laughs> D Doppelganger Wilhelm, or alternate personality Wilhelm, or bipolar Wilhelm has got a vacation home in Oslo. You're really fighting Czechoslovakia, huh? I don't know what German Bohemia is, and I'm scared. <laughs> well, don't. Uh, I had a, I had a dream. Something about ordo socialism. Ugh. Oof, Poland. <laughs> and also, uh, ran out in Sweden, so, you know, we'll just ignore that for now. Uh, so I am getting close to finally fixing up our country so that we're not like 1993 Russia. Finally, I got cores, right? There we go. And we got 128 factories. You know, I'm, I'm not complaining. It's, it's, it's a lot better than I where I was. Now we can actually make stuff, like anything. All right, so, well, the Kaiser is, there's the idea, maybe, that as we are placating to, uh, <clears throat> the Russian majority, should he abdicate? Well, uh, I checked all the other options, and these two guys are the same, just different names, and this guy's different, but, uh, they both look like they'd play League of Legends all day long in their mom's basement, so I think I'll just keep, uh, I'll keep Wilhelm in charge. Hmm, I mean, come on, he's got the hat, he's got the mustache, and, well, it's getting out of hand. There's two of them. Ah, okay, so, we've effectively removed all strain on the country, got a good, decent number of factories, we're in a very good shape, and very wonderful little authoritarian paradise right here, and, well, now we have a conference between Germany and Russia, and figure out, you know, what, what should we say? Should I go, alright, or balls to the walls? Balls to the walls, obviously, what shall I say? I have no idea. Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay. Oh. 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 Oh, hey, there we go. Awesome. So, we got Ukraine. But we need to go to war with Lithuania and these guys. In okay, simple. Uh, no, how convenient. I have three separate armies. If I could just get to the button. There we go. And, well, uh, it shouldn't be too hard. What a lovely event about how our Russian delegates got drunk and... I went with a lot of local women and caused reparable damage to us on the world stage. Oh, oh thank you. That's that's so nice of them. All right, it should be simple enough. We just got a bunch of countries to wait, wait, I wait patiently for the front lines to merge now. And well, uh, yeah. I didn't think this was going to be too hard, and it most certainly isn't. Oh. Wonderful. Hey, look, we got some really old guns, too. That's crazy. Let me just take all of that. Nope, you don't mind. Well, there we go. I got lots of equipment. And <laughs> the anti-tank and anti-air haven't even researched yet. But there we go. Now we got a huge rush. I, I, I was going to go to war, but you know, so I'm getting, it's getting late. I'm getting so tired, and it won't change much. We've already finished the path. I could do this, but there's no more, you know, fancy story stuff, really, to do. Uh, we got, like, the best possible Russia that could probably happen if it was invaded by German compliance governments, but there we go! Boom, done! Thank you for so much for watching. I appreciate it so much, really. It means everything for every view I get. Um, I'm sorry, I, schoolwork has just been up the wazoo, and life has been tiring me out. But thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a like, a comment. I read all the comments. I make sure to heart all the funny ones, except if you're telling me to play something or asking for music. I don't know. I'm just too tired to comment the right answers to that. Anyways, have a wonderful night, and you know, to the patrons. A special warm thank you to Aaron Moon Unit, Deathkill, Moonwalking Roosevelt, Pronifin, Bismarck Lover, CSP67, Bubblegum Ice Cream, 9, and a special thank you to Steven. Thank you all to being wonderful Patreons to my community, and I wish you all a wonderful evening.
But listen, you're watching too much. Kaiser Redux. And uh, I mean, to be honest with you, I'd rather you do meth at this point. You know what I'm saying?